Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 18 and Movie Studio today, and we're talking about ways you can make your work faster, ways you can use templates and presets to get things done faster. Now, this is my very, very messy templates folder. Uh, it's messy because uh, sometimes I'm more in a hurry than I am organized. And I'm gonna walk you through my process of cutting a tutorial. Now, specifically, I wanna say you don't need a template if you're not doing the same thing every time. If you're starting with a completely different project, with completely different audio and completely different videos and completely different cameras even, um, presets are going to be uh, something difficult to use. However, if you're doing the same thing every time, there's a rule I like to live by, don't do anything twice. This is my template. Uh, you might be confused because there's a lot with the same name, but my template is called New Tutorial 0007. Uh, it is <laughs> the one, this is the one that is the preset I have. When you're making a template, the first thing you need to consider is what media will you need over and over again and uh, go ahead and put it in your project. So we're going to talk about each of these things, but essentially, you know, I need these same logos over and over again. Uh, I sometimes want to use the subscribe thing, sometimes I don't, uh, but I also need my intro every single time. Again, this is for a repeated style process. So if I know I'm going to need these things, then go ahead and put them in there. Before you do any edit though, you need to go to save as and go to your template and make it, save it as something else. This is why it looks like a mess. I would suggest making a new folder and saving it inside that new folder and keeping all your media in that new folder. Um, but that's if you're like an organized person that wants to keep things organized. I try to be that kind of person, but I'm not. So you'll notice in the timeline, I have something pre-added too, because usually I need an intro here and an intro here, because another thing I do to speed it up is I edit uh, usually about two, Temp, uh, tutorials at the same time. So I'll edit one here and then I'll edit the other here. Then I'll render one out while the other one's uploading to YouTube. Uh, so that's just something you don't have to do that. But that's just something I have done that makes it faster for me. And you'll notice that I have some, some things here pre done. You can do this in Movie Studio too. Uh, naming these whatever you want. In Movie Studio they come pre-named so it makes it feel like you have to do something on that level but that's not true. But here this is where I drop I got uh, some just random tutorial footage in here. This is where I drop uh, the tutorial that I'm gonna work on and I drop it in what I have called OBS levels and mic. So I use OBS to capture right now. I call it levels really that should be called the OBS track really. Because uh, that's where the the main capture for the tutorial is going to come in. And then for the mic, this is where my mic capturing comes from, where I already have the exact same audio coming in every time. So here's another part of the template. Something that I have pre-done, if I go to track effects, I actually have the track EQ. Well, so I purposely leave it a flat EQ, but I have before changed this EQ uh, for what uh, I wanted to do. Um, but I have a compressor already added to it uh, in the settings that I want. Um, and I know, and I already have this up one volume level because of how I record it. I usually record it a little quieter, quieter to get rid of some room noise. So get that lets me just drop this in and now the first thing I get when I play is, the this audio is gonna be it's usually just about right now that doesn't mean I'm not gonna have to do any adjustments but I don't have to do any major adjustments usually I just either pop it up a little bit or pop it down a little bit depending on how loud I was talking that day I also have the intro music pre mix too because I have the intro pre dropped in um, that, that one's supposed to be down <laughs> um, the intro, I actually have to turn down a lot because even though it might look the same in levels, when I play the music, today, just got some uh, it just is a more full sound and it kind of scares people uh, when it first jumps in. So I've gotten a lot better when I kind of just really flatten out and mute the music. I've both dropped the levels on the clip pre done and I uh, have this volume everything flat here. I don't add any extra volume to it or take away volume from this either because that's all pre mixed. Uh, so another thing to consider when you're doing a template uh, like this intro, anything you're going to show more than once, see if there's a way that you can like kind of make that a pre-cut in your project. You can render it out something, uh, if you have Vegas Pro, something lossless like ProRes, uh, but if you have Movie Studio, uh, this is actually just an MP4, and the reason I use an MP4 is because it's going to be the same media that I export out later. So if I'm exporting out an MP4 for YouTube, then I want it to be an MP4 
because that that will compress it less when I do the compression, so it doesn't look um, it, and it, it looks for the same types kinds of information. Uh, that the MP4 already has, so the compression tends to look pretty good, even if it's being compressed again to go onto YouTube. So that's um, that's how to get around not having something like ProRes um, available if you have Movie Studio. In your template project too, in your project properties, you can all go ahead and pick something that works best for. I have a whole tutorial about what all these mean, um, but you can pick something that works best for the camera that you're using. If you're using the same camera every time, or using the same screen capture stuff every time, there's no reason to do anything twice. Now that's where this gets really fun. I have a preset thing called Notes, and I'll show you how I made that. And all I have to do is drop this in, render as. I'm going to mute my audio for it. Um, all I have to do is drop that in, and then you can see there's a note that appears, and I can change this note to whatever I want. And so has the animation and everything. So that's just, I just know that, that that font and everything just is what I want. So let's say you're making a template. You can just start with this sample text here. And if you usually use the same title text every time, um, yeah, there we go. So uh, we've got your title text here. You're proud of it, whatever font you ended up picking. Um, <laughs> and so uh, this is now something you can come up here to presets and then you name this, and I can name this sample preset and then hit the save thing. Now I have a preset that's saved in every project ever, not just in um, this project, but in every project ever I will have this preset. I'm probably gonna get rid of it though because it's yucky, but say you you make it lower or you drop the outline color or whatever, you can just hit save again. So when you save this preset as whatever you want, and you can get to it any time with this drop down menu. You'll see all the different presets on here that Vegas already has, and you can just grab it again whenever you want, or even just move to another preset. So if you decide uh, to do that, you will find it here where you can drag and drop it in your project after you restart the software, but not before. But you can even find it before you restart the software. You can even find it up here so don't worry about that just know where to find it until you restart the software so you can have your media pre-added that you're going to need you can have your uh, audio pre eq would your tracks pre-labeled you can have your uh, titles uh, pre-done uh, and canned and your animations pre-done and canned and your settings pre-done, and that does save a lot of time. But some of you might be thinking, what are some more time-saving tips, especially for longer projects? And for those, I would suggest videos. I've already done a video about the trimmer, which I will link a video about using bins and custom bins that I will link, and uh, also a video about pre-program. Now, while this isn't available in Movie Studio, for Vegas Pro, you can customize your keyboard to have shortcuts that maybe makes more sense for you or works better with your editing workflow. And I have a whole tutorial actually not only about creating your own shortcuts, but also getting diving into programming your own extensions for Vegas. So Vegas can actually let you pre-program your edits with a programming software. So if you're into programming, I have a video that gets an introduction to that, and I also point to in that video, T Lovers, uh, he's got the best on the web that I've found uh, explanation for how to start programming uh, your shortcuts for Vegas. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video help you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. If you want to help out this channel, there are tons of helpful links for you with more videos you can watch uh, and also affiliate links that you may find helpful. And if uh, you're new to editing in general and you want to have kind of a pre-done course, uh, not only do I have free videos on the web, but I have a paid course that you can do through Udemy uh, where I teach more about editing principles and editing inside of Vegas. So thanks so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. I'll see you next time.